Good Times Hunting, goodtimeshunting.com. We're going to do some fillet. Beautiful fillets. I'll show you what they look like up close. We were out on the boat today. We had a great fishing trip. We caught five of the five. I caught three. I'm not put. Hey, Phil Cetus is a great fisherman. How is that bone in the it's hole, Doctor? Good. What do you what think? Bone is this one right here? It looks very good. Is that a bone? It's a knuckle. It is. No, it's a knuckle. Oh, wait. <laughs> oh, that's, it, its tendon was attached right there. Oh, wait. <laughs> that's the, he caught two. I caught three. Doesn't mean I'm a better fisherman. Today I was a better fisherman, obviously. Most days I'm a better fisherman. Hey, 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 hey! It's not about being the best fisherman. If you're the best fisherman, you better thank you to the man that owns the boat. Thank you, Phil Cetus. You may not fish as well, but let me tell you something. You got a boat, and I don't. So I'm just trying to up my game for you, give you good stories to take home with you give you real good fish stories, try to put as many fish in the boat as I can for you. I'm working for you, doctor. Sure, I got three beautiful fillets out here. We're gonna bring some of these to the office. We're gonna have a little fish fry. Um, one of our partners, uh, Jack Foreman was with us today. I stand for Jack Foreman. Hi, there, hello there. Okay, this is one of our venison providers as well. He's got a beautiful piece of ground. <laughs> and he didn't catch a keeper. Does that mean he's a terrible fisherman? He needs some work. Jack, you need some work. And I'm willing to, even though I was willing to help you today, you took it as an insult. And that's a shame. Because yes, I offered to catch one and let you reel it in. Is that an insult to a fisherman? You guys help me out with that because I thought that was something nice that I could do for you, Jack. I was not trying to insult you. I was catching, I was fishing with two poles, you were fishing with one, I was catching one on each pole. And I probably caught, I don't know, 30 fish to your two. But still, I was not trying to put you down, Jack. I was trying to give you some of my action. So help me out with that. Is that disrespectful? I don't know. If it is, I won't offer that again. Good times hunting, good times fishing. Everything we do, we're have, trying to have a good time. Good times hunting. Never come. I'll see you there. And I'm going to show you how to fillet some flukes. Go to how to and I'll show you whatever I know. I'm going to try to show you how to do it. Mostly for young, young fishermen. Old fishermen, you got your techniques down. You got your special boards that you use. I'm not a huge fisherman. I do know how to do it. I'm going to show you how I do it. If it's not good for you, you know, I don't want to get into the gut bag too much. Certain techniques I like to use. I use pliers, filsitas. Pro staff for Phil Cetus has a special board, which I, you know, if I did a lot of fishing, I would do that. I'll show you what I can show you. And if you can use it, great. If not, that's okay too. Maybe you can use something else here on the site. Goodtimeshunting.com. Stick around. It's a nice piece of fish. She's got a white belly. Most important part is a sharp knife. And I'm going to also skewer, and you'll notice a lot of times when I'm gutting something, uh, when I'm cleaning something, something, if I'm uh, if I'm breasting out a turkey, my mouth will water, um, and I basically attribute that to millions of years as a predator, the human species, um, knowing that if you are preparing something, eventually you will be eating that something. Beautiful. Another beautiful fillet. Okay. Beautiful fillet. There's no meat left here. Flip the fish. You see the whiteness of it? Yeah, but I'll show you a little closer. Right along that spine. Now you can see it. Okay. So I'm going to center cut that. Okay, so if you, I got you zoomed in here real nice. If you see, I got kind of cut through these um, 
ribs a little bit, so they stuck to my fillet. So what I'm going to do is go over it, work the blade over those, and get back in line again. And I could probably do it from this end down. So I'm going to back you up. Another nice piece of fish. Another real nice piece of fish. And I just turn the fish around and I do right in it, right down along here now. Another beautiful flu fillet. Look at that white meat. Beautiful. Beautiful white meat, people. Beautiful white meat. Love it. Beautiful. Thanks for being with me, people. We have filleted our first fish together, and it won't be our last. Um, we have four beautiful fillets. I will show you how to skin it next. So stick around. Skinning a fillet is what we'll do next. Good times hunting. Good times hunting. Not cow. I love fish and I love flounder. It's delicious. What I'm going to do with this, if you have a Ziploc gallon freezer bag, put it in the Ziploc, put it in the freezer until you're ready to bait for coyote, bait for fox, or throw it in the garbage. That way it won't stink your garbage up big time. And I'm talking big time. Within 24 hours, you'll pollute your neighborhood. Good time hunting. It smells good now, though. Good time hunting. It's good. So see the, the skin side? There's the meat side. I'm going to show you how to take the meat side and leave the skin side. Good time hunting. This is the tool I'm going to use. Needle nose pliers. Okay, there you go. I'll show you again what a beautiful piece of meat this is here. Okay. There's the next fillet. Same thing, this is the white side. The white side down. I'm going to hold it with my needle nose, just like so, and then I'm going to put pressure. I'm starting to feel a little bit of an edge needing to be sharpened. But this is your beautiful fillet. Beautiful fish fillet. I'm gonna fry them babies up. Delicious. Okay. That's just half the fish, people. There's two more pieces. Lay that down flat, and I'm gonna pull it lightly across it. Okay, real quick, I know you guys have things to do, so I'm going to grab the tail, see how the sharpened knife works, nice and easy. See, I'm just pushing a little less hard, nice and easy, nice and easy, nice and easy. Done deal. See that? Very nicely done. There's the skin, there's the meat going on a plate. So there we go, my friends. One fish down. One fish down, two to go, and it's going to be delicious. I'm going to take this. I'll show you how I cook it, too. Um, thanks for coming out. Anytime you need to know something gamey, deer, turkey, fish, whatever, I'll do my best to tell you how I do it. If it works for you, great. If you have your own techniques, it may just be fun to watch someone else do it too. You never know. But good times hunting, I'm here for you. And I'm gonna be doing a lot of this. And deer season's right around the corner. Sure, I'm breaking out into a sweat because I haven't gotten my stand set up and my bait out and all that stuff. I may go natural. I'm gonna work on finding pants that are very well used. I just use it at my back, at my front, but I will use it. Good times hunting. Dot count. Stick around.
Come with me among the evergreen to share the beauty that you never have seen. We'll start a fire and we'll drink some wine. Can you think of a better way to spend your time? Come with me among the evergreen. Wade your ankles in the cold blue stream. I tug on the line and you know it's all good. Finally living life like the way you should. Pro staff for Phil Citas uh, was happy and uh, or something. Rewind, rewind. Hold. Good timer. No, that's too much. It's too much. Good timers. Nope, you gotta face them. What's up, good timers? Welcome back. It's been a while since I've seen you.